The Frisco real estate market has certainly seen some tremendous change over the past year. We've gone from rapidly rising prices and crazy bidding wars to mortgage rates not seen since the early 2000s, and speculation of the price crash is on the horizon. Now, as a result, you, like so many others, may put your home buying plans on hold, hoping that home prices drop significantly. But that might not be the best strategy, and I'll explain exactly why in today's video. Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team of EXP Realty here in Frisco, Texas. And you know, the challenge with trying to time any market, whether it be the stock market or the housing market, is that it usually doesn't work out too well because you never actually know when you've hit the top or hit the bottom until after you've already done so and prices have started moving in the other direction. So Zonda is a real estate market research firm, and they did a survey recently, and that survey showed that 53% of millennials say they are still renting right now because they're waiting for home prices to drop. But here's the challenge. The most recent data shows us that the market may have already bottomed out, and in actual fact, Prices are starting to rise again. As a matter of fact, Selma Hepp is the chief economist at CoreLogic. And Selma reports that U.S. home prices rose by 0.8% in February, indicating that prices in most markets have already bottomed out. And the latest data from Black Knight kind of shows something very, very similar with regards to home prices. So here's a graph right here that compares home price trends in November of 22 to February of 23. And as you can see, in November of 2022, home prices declined in 96% of the largest 50 markets. But by February of 2023, home prices were increasing in 78% of those top 50 markets. Now, nationally, home prices peaked in June of 2022, but here in Frisco, our prices actually peaked in April of 2022 with a median sales price of $760,000. Now, as mortgage rates rose last year, prices definitely fell. Buyer demand dropped off and prices fell as a result. But locally, the majority of those price declines took place between April and August. And by a matter of fact, if we go extend that out into October, you'll find that the median sales price in October was 18% lower than it was just in April. That is when we saw the bulk of our price declines here in Frisco. Now, since October of 2022, 10% of the price reductions that we saw, we've already recovered. So by March of 2023, the median sales price was back to 700,000, which is only 8% lower than it was in April of 22. So we've already seen things here change. As a matter of fact, we're starting to see multiple offers in the marketplace once again. Not the crazy bidding wars, but we are starting to see multiple offers once again. The bottom line here is that as mortgage rates continue to fall, you're finding that many of the home buyers that previously put their home search plans on hold are coming back to the market. And you may have heard or seen that there's more homes for sale now than there were a year ago. And that's true. It's completely true. Here in Frisco, the number of homes for sale is up 41% year over year. But that number, the number of homes for sale, it's still down 286% compared to where we were in March of 2020. So yes, it's up year over year, but it's nowhere near the number of homes that we historically see for sale this time of the year when inventory should be rising a lot faster than it actually is. 
And it's that large imbalance between supply and demand that is keeping home prices in check and actually causing them to go up slightly right now. As a matter of fact, it's unlikely here that we will see any further price declines this year. The question becomes how much appreciation are we likely to see? When you expand out and look at what the experts are forecasting nationwide, they're projecting that we'll be back to historically normal levels of appreciation by 2024 and beyond. So hopefully this helps provide a little bit of perspective on what's going on now. And if you're one of those people waiting for prices to fall before making a move, again, that might not be the best idea, but I'd be more than happy to talk to you about it and just share some ideas so that you can make the decision that's best for you and your family. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can email me at andrew at the andrewsmithteam.com or give me a call at 469 296 5230.